So if you're like me and you've been building on Automation 360 for a while now, you'll notice that when you go to check in a bot into the public directory, there's a field that shows up and it says add a comment. And if you're like me, you've been entering something really dumb there, right? You'll write test three or test one, or sometimes it's just like a couple random keystrokes just so that I can hit the submit button to send this thing into public. Well, with the dot 22 release that came out recently, you'll notice that you actually see a full version history of your bots. And so when you go and look at those, you'll see that you have, you know, 35 check-ins that all say test on them. And it's really pretty useless for you because you didn't write a meaningful comment like me. And now if you need to roll back to those other versions, that's now enabled, but your comments are kind of useless. So two things I want to point out here. Number one, you do have the ability now to check out an older version of your code. And this is awesome. This is on dot 22. And with that, you can check out an old version of your code, make modifications to that old version, and then check that old version in as the new version. And that's what will be live in your public directory. And that's what will be used for any ongoing schedules or things like that. The second piece of action I would say is make sure to write meaningful comments. I've tried to start doing this myself. Make a note about what you changed in this check-in versus the last check-in so that as you go and look at the history of your different check-ins and of this particular bot, you can see exactly like, oh, I need to roll back here because this is the one where I added that one functionality to Salesforce or I added that one functionality to another app. So I want to show you practically how this actually works when you're in your control room. I'm right now logged into my control room. I'm on the private tab. So I'm only seeing the bots that are in my private directory. There is a bot that I have uh, edited and I have checked in multiple times. It's called Scratchpad. It's kind of just where I go and test things. Now the Scratchpad bot has been edited. Uh, I have checked it out and I'm going to try to check it back in. Now one thing I want to point out here, if I had checked it out and did not edit it, when I try to check it back in, it's really not gonna do anything, right? Because the same version already exists in the public tab. So I checked it out, I made some edits, I'm gonna check that back in. So I'm gonna hit check in taskbot. And here is where uh, it's asking me for that comment. And like I explained, this is where we're gonna write a meaningful comment. Um, previously, uh, these comments really didn't show in the UI uh, any place meaningful. So we wanna write a meaningful comment here where we can explain exactly what changed with this particular version of our bot. I'm going to type in a meaningful comment and that will enable me to see what's going on with this bot. So I'm going to say a uh, quick tip check in and we'll check it in. Now at this point, my bot is now in the public repository. So when it's in public, that means that it's eligible for things like scheduling and I can run it on bot runners and things like that. There's two ways for me to be able to see the history of my different check-ins and those comments and things like that. If I go over here to my context menu on the right hand side, the first way is I can click this little view history task bot. And this is really not terribly actionable, but I can just see what my comments are on my different revisions, right? So I had one that was two months ago that was test. It looks like I was using test quite a bit two months ago. And then I have this one that I just now checked in, which was my meaningful comment quick tip check-in. If I scroll down to actually check this bot out, so I'm going to select check out task bot. This is where I can actually select the version that I want to check out. And that enables me to essentially roll back to an older version of the bot. I can check that out. I can make modifications to that version. I can check that back in. And when I check it back in, it will become the main version or the version that is uh, available in the public directory. So if I select, uh, let's say test, whatever this was, I'm going to click this right arrow to select that one. Notice that it had a nine here before. So by default, it's taking the most recent version. If I want to select an older version, I have to make sure to click that arrow. I've selected four. If I hit checkout. Now, if I scroll down and find that same scratch pad bot, I'll see that this is the version, you know, this is what I was testing four months ago and I'm not sure, it looks like I was testing some JavaScript here. So this is how you can reference those different versions and how you can check out an older version. If I were to make some modifications to this and check it back in, then it would be checked in as the current active version in my public directory. So use the check-in functionality and use the checkout functionality to select a correct version of your bot that you wanna check out and edit. 
And number two, write meaningful comments. It enables 255 characters. That's a, roughly the length of a tweet. So if you can write a tweet, you can write a meaningful comment on your code. My name is Micah Smith. Thanks for listening to this RPA quick tip and be sure to subscribe for more Automation Anywhere content.